Okay, this is going to be a short video to teach you how to calculate your 307 grade because I know part of that other video was made for 207, um, so that's not relevant to you. Now, I looked on our syllabus. It says that test 1 is 16%, test 2 and 3 are 22%, homeworks are 6%, the project is 12%, and the exam is 22%. Now, I use an Excel spreadsheet and I have it calculate my grade. So what I'm about to show you is exactly what I type in to my Excel spreadsheet. Of course, I copy and paste it down for all 20 of you so I don't have to do each one by hand. But tiny backstory, I may have already mentioned it, but it bears repeating. This is the exact reason why I do not use the Canvas column to calculate your final class grade. Um, yes, part of it is that I'm lazy and I don't want to have to program Canvas properly because it's very confusing. But more importantly, students should always be able to check their professors to make sure that your professor has actually programmed Canvas correctly or whatever they're doing at home to make sure they're giving you the correct grade. I still, to this day, of course, have two grade changes on my Georgia Tech transcript because there was one semester that I had two professors make a mistake in calculating my grade. And since I knew how to calculate my grade, I was able to check. And then at the time, the internet really wasn't around, so I had to call them up. And it was a grade change, and those two grades are still on my transcript. Having two professors make a mistake in one semester is very unusual, but it happened. It was not me begging for my grades. They had made mistakes. And if Georgia Tech math professors can make mistakes, anyone can, right? Also, when my own daughter was going through the nursing program, before that, she had numerous friends who were trying to run the scenarios of, oh, I have to have a 3.0 to you know, turn in my application. If I repeat, forgive this class, you know, what GPA do I need so I can turn it in? So we did some of that on that other video also. So this is all very real life stuff and you as future teachers absolutely have to be very familiar with the weighted mean of how to calculate grades. So back to your grade. Test one is 16%. Test two and test three are 22%. Your homework, and you can always just average the homework if you want, 6% um, for your homework. This really does keep going. Let's see, 12% for the project and 22% for the exam. Maybe I can put an equals there. The 307 grade equals that formula, right? Now, comparing this, the format I used to the format I would have used in the video you watched before this, when we were doing the boys and girls, I don't know if there were cell phones or how much savings they had or different things like that, I always had a numerator and a denominator, right? So you don't have to write this, but I just want to briefly talk about this. I seem to just have a numerator. Well, think about it. My syllabus is out of 100%. You could view it as 100 points, right? So instead of saying test 1 is 16 points, oops, test 2 is 22 points, etc., and then dividing by the total number of points, because that's really what I'm doing. 16 divided by 100, there's that 16%, that 0.16. But if, you, if it's messing with you that I don't have a fraction, I really do. I would have done it as points divided by 100 points. But the beauty is, and this is why I do it, my brain thinks out of the unit whole, out of 100%, so much easier than any other number. So I use what I call a percent syllabus. This is also confusing to some because once I teach this, and let's say you have a history class and it's a 600 point syllabus, right? 
You might say, well, how do I apply this to a points syllabus? It's the exact same process. Again, you don't have to draw what I'm writing in blue, but let's say you had a history class. And let's say test one was 150 points. You know, test two maybe was 140 points, etc. And let's say the whole thing was out of 600 points. Well, those would be your weights, right? But it points confuse my brain. It's just like an added step that is not intuitive to me. So like if you have this history class and it's out of a total of 100, or 600 points, but test one is 150, you could turn all of that into percent, right? Your test one is 25% and then it could look just like what I'm teaching you up here. So you have two ways to deal with those syllabi that are out of points. You set it up like this, or you go ahead and just turn each individual entry into a percent and then you can use what I'm teaching you for 307. All right, so most students, you know, as you go, you'll be putting in your numbers the week before the exam. All of this would be filled in, right? So your grade would equal some number plus 0.22 times the exam. And then students play the what if scenario. You know, if I'm making 80 on the exam, what do I get in the course? Or if I need a B in the course, what do I need to make on the exam? And that's a very common thing to do and it's very easy. Other students, on any given day would like to know what do I currently have in your class you know maybe it's like March 1st or April 1st and you want to know your current grade so let's just run through a little example let's say on test one you made a 93 let's say on test two you made an 85 homework you have an average of a 95 so far Okay, and those are the only grades that you have. All right, let's use my formula. 0.16 times 93 plus 0.22 times 85 plus 0.06 times 95. Now here is where some students then freak out and they start to email me. So they'll do that part and they'll get 39.28. And they'll email me, there's no way I have a 39 in your class. I'm using the formula you told us, you know, something's going wrong. Well, remember on the last video, I kept over killing something by saying you need to add up the weights and that should equal your denominator. You have not done 100% of the course. These are the weights, right? Uh, 38, so I guess you've done 44% of the course. So remember how we used to add up those weights? Double check our work? Yes, you have to divide by the total weight. We haven't finished the semester. It's not one or 100%, right? You've only completed 44% of the course. So divide by 0.44. And yeah, given those grades, having an 89.3 in the class, seems to make reasonable sense, right? So again, that's the current grade with 44% of the class complete. Let me look at my little personal notes, see if there was anything else I wanted to mention. No, that's it. So that's how you calculate your grade and that's how you can figure out at any given day what is your current grade in my class. That is it. Goodbye.